everyone, it's 8am on Tuesday, March the 3rd, and I can see one of them already. <laughs> Someone's always an early riser. <laughs> it's Elfie. Hey Elfie. So, I'm making myself a cup of tea, and then I'm going to go out there and feed them. So I'll see you in a minute. Sorry. probably around that much to the bucket, so not too much. The reason why we do this is just to make sure that they're getting enough nutrients and protein and everything for the lambs that are inside them, but also for when the lambs are born, the milk for the lambs has is also good. So apparently you're supposed to keep doing the pellets around also two to three days after they've had the lambs as well to make sure that the milk is still okay. So to be honest, that's about it. I'll show you. So I've just got the bucket now and basically you don't have to fill it too much, just fill it so it covers the bottom and maybe just a pellet over that one as well. And we as again, while well, we use it to keep the sheep healthy, because we want these babies to be healthy. Good morning, healthy. As I said 10 million times this morning. Oh, you know what that is. Good girl. Yeah. You know what I've got in my bucket. Is it just you who wants it? Okay. I'm just spreading it around because it makes them so they can go different places and it's just easier for them. I'm not scaring Elfie at all, she's fine. And that's all spread around like that and Elfie's already going for it. Come on, girlies! You can get some! Oh, God. I swear we're gonna have to get Elfie somewhere else so the other two can have some soon. <laughs> uh, just gonna put this bucket out. God, my hands are freezing. I should have wore gloves or something. It's quite a cold morning today, but I'm really hoping this sun comes out. It's quite cloudy today, so it's alright. I mean, to be honest, I probably should have put myself in something warmer. I've just got a jumper on. But, <laughs> oh well. <laughs> just come back, the girls are all there. Because it was really, really cold last night. These are frozen over. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> well, that's. <laughs> oh, my hand's freezing. That's cool, I'm gonna have to go do the other one now. Oh. <laughs> I was not expecting that at all. Wow. That was really cool. So, I've just gone inside and I've just had word from my father that the electrician to do the barn for the lights and stuff is not coming tomorrow. He's coming now. <laughs> Um, between half eight and nine and it's 8 40 right now so probably around five minutes and also the pellets are called u-nuts so if anyone wants to buy them they're called u-nuts <laughs> um, apparently you don't need to feed them to use when they're not pregnant it's it literally just is for the protein and everything come out for you guys to see what the electric people have done and who's going to be explaining it is my dad hello <laughs> there you go dad i'll give you the camera okay so the electric people have been in and installed a new fuse board into the barn it did have power originally but it was really old um so we've had to put this up to uh, spec um so they've just running a new armored cable up 
and then we've got uh, a lighting feed and a uh, socket feed. Um, I don't know if you can see much of that, but that's all the old trunk cable that runs down there. Uh, and this is just a garage here. And then we've got some, we've got some outside lighting, so Mia can see what she's doing. And then another another outside light there and she was struggling with the uh, latch and we found that the door dropped a little bit so I've just uh, dropped the three bolt down a bit so she oh, can yay! now get through <laughs> and it's going to be a little bit dark in here I'm not sure how much you're going to see so we've got uh, new sockets because uh, these had rusted the old ones um, so we've just renewed those just to make sure they're safe uh, all the rest of it's all stayed so we've got another one there and then uh, one there and then these two so these this is the uh, sockets to run the heating lamps which will keep the lambs uh, warm uh, during their stay and um, we've got a light there as well, just so Mia can see. Cool. Yay. Anything to say? Should we end the video? Because I haven't actually got anything else to do. Okay, end of the day. So, this has been episode two of Sheep and Lamb Adventures. A minute ago, uh, Elfie actually let me touch her. <laughs> so, big improvements. And this morning when I was taking their uh, pellets out they know exactly where to go when I put them down so eventually we'll try and make them their, uh, take the pellets to their shelter so they can well gi give birth there when they want to and that's about it for today so thanks for watching everyone and come back to episode 3